And uh, this is my show. It's Cooper in the Morning, the most accurate news program on television. This is correct. Uh, excuse me, I'm having the widow feedback here. Oh, and just, we had the raccoon break into the studio last night and uh, chew up all the cables. I'm not saying it was my friend Henry, but it was my friend Henry. I'm just saying. Anyways. <clears throat> So, good morning, everyone, and those of you in your room, if you guys would like to call into the show, the number is 44444. Four, four, four. Right, Eva, do you hear that? Is that from the raccoon or something? So, those of you in your room, if you'd like to call in, uh, just dial 44444, four, four, four. and um, yeah. You can do that in your room. The number is located right there for your convenience. Four, 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 four. Actually, no, don't call in. Never mind, I forgot. Oh, I forgot, the raccoon chewed up the computer cables. Never mind, never mind. We're working on all this. See, this is what you get when you hang out with raccoons, which is my friends. Let's see, what is it? It's, uh, what day is it? What day is it? April, I'm gonna hold real still. Okay, I'm just gonna hold real still because I don't know why my microphone is bugging out. Okay, what day is it? It's July 12th. It is Na National Paper Bag Day. More paper or plastic? Paper. Just say paper today. All right, so I don't know. Anyway, I don't know who comes up with this stuff. Uh, number two is National Simplicity Day. I don't know why I feel like I gotta be real still. But my microphone is bugging out. Oh, man. You know, can't eat dragon catch a boy. I prepared a really good show. Okay. So, yes, it is paper bag day, simplicity day, eat your jello day, which is all pretty simple, like simplicity day. I don't know about y'all, but I do not like that jello that got fruit stuck in it. Ew. To me, I just, I don't know why, but that's just like on another level that Koopa Baby Dragon just don't care for. Yeah, you, yeah. You agree with that? True. I don't know why. It's just like, yeah, get them grapes out of there. But it's always canned fruit in there. You know what I mean? Never fresh. Ew. Anyway, that's my complaint. So, no, I will not eat that jello day. Anyway, all right, so let's move swiftly along to the next story of the day. What we got going on here? I forget because my microphone threw my brain all off. But that's okay. Oh, yes. My other group on PAL, um, the Weather Watcher Patriot Prediction Center. Yes, this guy right here, I uh, got on group on, hired him, he's an eagle. He's an uh, expert eagle eye weather watcher, as seen um, above there. I thought it was going to say it's seen on TV, but I didn't see it on TV. So he says, uh, this heat is frankly un American. And uh, Friday, as you see, his predictions are very accurate. Friday, he says, steam room. Saturday, the boiler. Sunday, just stay inside. He don't make no bones about it. Just real, like Friday, you want a nice sauna, go outside, steam your face up a little bit. The boiler, I'm assuming, is also very hot. And then Sunday, just don't bother. Thank you, Eagle Eye Weather Patriot. You know, I hired another guy that was my Groupon guy, the helicopter man, Dan the man with no plan. And he does traffic report, but he's been like, oh, man, y'all, I just can't. I, I know I, I got him on the discount. I realize that. And sometimes you do get what you pay for, okay? Sometimes. But I'm going to give Dan one more shot today. Well, actually, he's my only option, so... I got to just keep him on the show. He signed the contract. But uh, let's see if uh, Helicopter Dan in the Cool One Chopper is uh, there. Dan? I do hear a helicopter. You hear that? Uh, Dan? Cool Chopper. Cool Chopper One, you are live on the air. What's that traffic report look like there? Dan, the man with a big old plan. You guys hear that? 
Dan. Dan, are you seeping? Oh my gosh. Dan. It's Cooper. You're live on the air, man. I hope that thing ain't in the air. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, that was Dan the man, the helicopter guy with no plan. Oh, my God. Uh, Wayne, was that you out there? Wayne? was, yes. Did you hear that? I did. I did. Now, was that facts or was he just seeping and then the helicopter took off by itself. Um, I don't think he was actually driving the helicopter. I think they have a pilot for that. Incorrect. Um, and then they have, he's the co-pilot that looks down the traffic while the pilot drives. That is incorrect. So I hired two incompetent people. Yes, yes you did. I guess that's like group on like, wow, we gave you two people. Why are you complaining? Okay, Dan, uh, let us know if you're okay, little. I think you might have shoot it out. All right, let's go to the next story. Um, I got a lot of stories today, Rainy, and studio audience out there. I got a lot. Can't wait. They're good. So okay. excited. Yeah, yeah. It's, I can barely contain myself. I know, I know. Oh, should we see, keep going? Sorry. No, no. Let's go now. Hey, it's all part of the show. I like it. Okay, this is Earth News. I thought this was a cool story, you guys. I think this is really cool. Oh, no. Anyway, it seems that Earth's oldest color dates back more than one billion years. And guess what that color is, y'all? Pink. I'm going to explain. Don't worry. Look how tiny I am on the screen. I'm so cute. Anyway. Um, is uh, bright pink the new black? Well, no, not exactly, but it is the world's oldest known color produced by a living organism. Researchers extracted pigment from bacteria fossils preserved in the rocks under the Sahara Desert in West Africa. In a nutshell, the first color of Earth was pink, 1.1 billion years older than previously recorded. And it was once believed that algae was the first color that caused the bacteria that exist in the slimy green substance. But science says we always find out what's wrong. It is bacteria called uh, cyanobacteria. And um, just so you can remember that word, think of cyan and magenta. Those are like colors when you're trying to Photoshop something. Okay, so pink, as we all know, is the universal color of love. So Earth's master sculptor created with the color of love, which I thought was pretty cool. What do y'all think about that story? Pretty cool, huh? I like that. I think that's cool. Like the, the first I love color. the story. Who that? Say something. Me. Oh, that's Jillian. <laughs> I know Jillian now. I got all your accents figured out. It wasn't an accent, that was just me. No, you did that like a squeak. It was, a, it was my mouse accent. Yeah. Hey, Jillian. Yes, Cooper? Hey, um, when you gave me those decoy dragons that somebody donated for me. Oh, you, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you put them in the dragon cave. Uh-huh. And I was sleeping, and then I woke up, and I saw a big mama dragon and a baby dragon, and, um... I had to change my PJs. Oh, no. I can't believe I was scared of my own kind, but I was. You should have put them uh, in a different room or the closet. No, no, we're cool now. Now we have little dragon tea parties and stuff. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Now I understand, like, oh, they're just toys. That's a call. You have crumpets? Uh, you gonna get me some? <laughs> Maybe a scone, don't you? Maybe tomorrow. Oh, yes, with our pinkies up and we have tea party, Jillian. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, but that sounds like a good time. We invite Abel, he can be the Mad Hatter. No, we gotta put a um, boa and a, a crown and a little tutu. Yeah. No. Oh, he say no. <laughs> 
Okay, I don't know if you guys watched this on ABC News, but oh my gosh, I was on the edge of my seat. Uh, the, so the Thailand uh, kids soccer team, um, I think they're called, they, the team is called the Wild Boars, like that's the name of their team, and their coach, well, they were, were trapped in a cave for like 15 days in total darkness, no food, no water. I mean, they have water because of the rain coming in, stuff, and they had like some kind of protein packets or something, but they ran out quick. Anyway, so um, everybody was watching this and was like, what are we gonna do? So if you'll notice, like over there, I have the, um, it's like the map of like how difficult this whole thing was. And people are like, why can't you just go into the cave and get them out? Well, it wasn't that simple because the cave filled up with water. So the boys had to keep going back, further back into the cave to get to a higher elevation in the cave um, so that they didn't get um, submerged in water. And a lot of the boys couldn't swim. Um, in fact, most of them couldn't. And the coach was the only adult with them. And so anyway, so everybody knew they was in there and they were trying everything. Even Elon Musk of Tesla Motors um, uh, was like developed a little submarine that he thought maybe could go in there and get them out. But then they ended up using another idea that uh, Elon Musk say, which was to basically displace the water in the cave so that all the excess water would be kind of sub pumped out. I watch construction shows, so I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I did say sub pump. I'm a three year old baby dragon. I said a sub pump. That sometimes the spaces that they had to swim through were so narrow that they had to actually take off their oxygen tank. Think about this in pitch black, okay? In a cave. Nope. I mean, nope. But anyway, they had to take off their tanks and then they'd swim a little bit more, put the tank back on, and then carry other tanks and then they had to put a whole line through there. Y'all, yeah, this was on another level. So they were showing all this live, uh, just like the news do, hoping and praying that it gonna work out okay, I guess. But luckily it did. And I thought this picture was so cool because the one in the middle, this was taken by one of those fabulous uh, photographers, you know, that are like photojournalists and they always capture those moments in history. But um, this was literally like seconds before the first kids came out of the um, tunnel. And you can just see this, this is one of the siblings of one of the boys there in the middle, like the older sister. And everybody was praying and trying to like focus and everybody was like, okay, 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 is this gonna happen? So that's taken seconds before her brother, who had been trapped for 15 days in there, she didn't know she ever gonna see him again, came out. But look at that face, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's a beautiful picture right there. It just kind of says it all. And then seconds after they uh, knew that the kids were rescued, all of them, you can go down to this bottom if you want to scroll up. This bottom picture right here. Look at that. And there was like thousands of people in the streets and everybody was just cheering and crying and just celebrating. And uh, it was a really wonderful thing. And so. We want to give a big pat on the back to all of the people, the rescue workers, including some of our own here in the United States. Yeah, a lot of fire, there was our firefighters, some of them went over there as consultants. I thought that was too cool. And of course, uh, the United States uh, Navy Search and Rescue, which those guys are boss, and the Thailand uh, Navy SEALs, one of which did lose their life early on, and we take our hat off to that guy. But hey, wherever he's at, it's all right, we got all the kids out and it's thanks to people like you. So we want to definitely tip our hat to those guys. Yeah. Now, let's go to the no news. That's right, every week I bring you a news story that makes you go, nope, nip, 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 like that. You, you look at the story and you go, what the nope? So this is the one for this week. I mean, y'all should see me trying to scour the internet, trying to find stuff. Oh my God. Okay, y'all, just sit tight. I know what you're looking at. No, that is not photoshopped. No. What's up with this half fish, half bird in China? What's up with that? 
So when fisher, fishermen recently hauled up their catch from a river in the province of some city that I will not pronounce because I will botch it, in southern China, they were expecting to come face to face with a fish, um, and then they saw a fish with a bird's head, or what looked like a bird's head. Oh God. They stared at it for a while and was like, what the, nope, 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 nope. And so at least that's how people have been describing this unusual creature since the video of the cat went viral online. That's right, there's a video of it, you guys. Okay, showing the strange fish gasping for air. I know that's kind of morbid, but don't worry, there's a happy ending here. And um, uh, the Chinese um, newspaper that, of that city that I will not pronounce because I can't. And uh, it broke the news and identified the fish as a common freshwater carp. That's a good idea. The pot. I doubt this. There's not no for common. What they talking about common? When you ever see a fish with a bird's head and call that common. Anyway, it's like when you see a talking baby dragon and call that common. That's why I got my own TV show. You know what I mean? Shout out. Okay. So this creature could have been some kind of half fish, half bird, but it ain't. So they say. Um, it had a beak-like mouth, small fins on the sides, giving it appearance of wings. Signs, of course, is like poo-pooing the whole thing. Like, no, no, that's just a, that's just a carp. <laughs> anyway, so luckily the fishermen had a heart, and um, they did toss it back into the water, which is good. So it is definitely going to have a decent life again. So that's a good thing. They did return it to the water. So they didn't keep it and stare at it and make fun of it. They were like, you know what, dude? You're pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and toss you back. And Or they said, dude, you're really weird, and I don't know if I can talk about it anymore. I'm going to toss you back. All right. This is going to be my segment called Nailed It. <laughs> Y'all. Oh, my gosh. If you guys have, I know there's a new Netflix show, but that's not why I did this. I love nothing more than to see people trying to do all those Pinterest like recipes and all that stuff and arts and crafts and failing miserably. Like there is nothing funnier than that. Because Pinterest is always some chick on there that's like, this is as easy as one, two, three. You know, I just get this thing here and do that there and then blah, 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 blah. Everybody will like you at the party. True. And um, no, that's it. Yeah, no. So this segment's called Nailed It. But they didn't nail it. Look at that. That top one. Nailed it. Very good. It's a shark cake. And no, it's not. You, nope. Incorrect. You did Nailed it. Okay. Nice. Okay, this cookie monster, though. Let's talk about that. Hey, y'all. What, what four-year-old started crying when they're like, happy birthday to you. I got your favorite cookie monster cake. Okay and brought out, rolled that out. I did it on Pinterest myself. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, this kiss. Y'all, I just cried when I watched these things. Okay, look at this. I thought this cute kitty omelet, I'm gonna make that for everybody in my house on Saturday morning. <laughs> this kitty needs help. Nailed it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. Look at that. I did it, y'all. Look. Congratulations. No, you didn't. Kitty. Okay. Got a kitty in here. Probably who messed up all the cables. All right. Scrolling up here. This one, y'all. There was a couple of these I had to take out because I thought those look too gross. But look at that. Oh, nice. Look at that cake. They're like, what a great idea. And then nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> that is incorrect. Uh, <laughs> look at that. How'd they think that was good? It looks like an elephant crashed like inside of a meteor like impact zone. Yep. I saw a hedgehog cake on Pinterest. <laughs> Nailed it. What happened to Pikachu? Pikachu's been working outside today. Mowing the lawn. Look her. This is what you did. Oh, I can do that. I can do that off Pinterest. It's as easy as one, two, three. And nailed it. Really good job, Daryl, at the bottom. 
Okay. <laughs> by the way, if you go on these sites, these are adults, by the way, that did these. This is not kids. This is like an adult that's like, I'm having a birthday party for my kids. Fact. And this, yeah. So I don't know how you get an emoji wrong, but nailed it. <laughs> Very good. And the pancake explosion. Look at that. Look at these delicious International House Pancake option. Right there. Yes. This is called um, Roadkill Pancake. That is um, the greatest thing ever. So there is a new show that's on Netflix called Nailed It. And um, it is exactly this kind of premise. Because somebody out there in the producer world knew that that was as funny as I know it is. I'm telling you. Like, I've been looking at these things for a while. That's because I kind of just, I get frustrated with the Pinterest thing. I know, I know, I know. Pinterest is my life. Everybody say that. But just grab a rubber band, a toothpick, some tape, and um, a piece of paper. And you can make shelves. That's what they do. And you can't. You can't do that. They have no structural integrity. Okay, yes. This is my, um, my, uh, and remember, the greatest gift you can give is kindness. And that is a dragon fact. Let's remember all the kind people who went in there and saved all those kids out of that cave. And that took cooperation and kindness and a lot of selflessness. Yeah. And I think that is an awesome, an awesome story that shows everybody that when we all decide to not be, um, you know, fussy, and we pull together, then we can do amazing things. So let's all remember that. And um, that's it for my show today. I hope uh, Helicopter Dan is all right. I have to text him later, but I don't want to text him while he's flying that plane. Oh, man, that guy. So uh, thanks for watching, and we hope that you stay tuned to this channel for more great programming from CLZ TV Channel 39. Later, guys.